And this message is for my fellow Leos, gang, gang, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. So Leo, what I have here for you for April 2023 is it seems like you have come out of some serious wounding here in the past. Um, maybe there was something that hurt you or, you know, something that kind of left you on this shaky ground, something that made you feel a bit unstable. And I see you're now in this place where you are sort of done being the helper. You are done being the way shower in certain relationships and certain situations. And so I have that coming out for the energy of the month along with, it seems like some types of relationships have ended, whether that is romantic relationships, business relationships, friendships, and I see you're not really upset about this. This is something that you are letting go with grace and ease as you are really realigning here. And potentially some things have come to light, um, maybe in yourself that you are recognizing what it is that you are looking for in connections with others. And you're really allowing yourself to release connections that are really not serving you. So. I have here for your energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles and also the Ace of Pentacles. So there is definitely an energy here of uh, making money. So really being stable in this process, really having new opportunities arise for you. So that is really exciting. I also have in this area of your energy, um, the page of cups along with the tower right so sort of what i'm getting from this and i pulled an additional card to clarify this tower situation for you and so there is some some emotional territory that you are getting into that you are not used to here maybe you are trying something that you haven't tried in a while and Maybe you're not feeling super confident about that. Um, with this tower energy here, it looks like something is going to sort of blow up. Something is going to crumble down, creating space for something new to emerge here. And what's coming through for me is it could be your own beliefs around what you can and can't handle in an emotional sense. And with the clarification of this card, I got the Two of Swords, which is really a card of decision making and communication. And I have this not in the reverse and not really upright. So potentially there there is some communication here that maybe you had or haven't had yet or a decision that you sort of been sitting with that is creating this tower moment in relation to some emotions and some emotions that you are a bit new to feeling. So just really being open, letting it all flow through and really embracing whatever change is coming here uh, within yourself or around this decision. So what you have going for you is you have really come out of this place of just feeling out in the cold and really regaining your power back here. So that is a really beautiful energy. I also have this two of wands here. So potentially some new business partnerships, maybe some new agreements that are coming to the surface that are working out in your favor, some support here, whether it is in your 
friendships, romantic relationships, family, uh, business. So that's what you have going for you for the month of April, 2023. What I have for you to pay attention to here is to really continue to create this financial stability, right? So we had the we had the Knight of Pentacles over here for your energy along with this Ace of Pentacles. And I also have for what to pay attention to this King of Pentacles, right? So a lot of the energy that we're looking at here is going to be about financial stability and abundance and being in your power and really being at peace with this financial aspect in your life and working towards that. I also have the Ten of Swords here in reverse in what to pay attention to. So I'm really getting... Allowing for others to support you here, really reaching out to community and reaching out to these different connections that you know and being able to present whatever it is that you can offer in these different connections and trusting that your gifts and your offerings are of value and allowing that to lead you to success in this area of financial abundance. So what I have that you are not seeing is it is really time to end a cycle of really end a cycle of addictions or things that you are tied to. And I'm getting the sense that this is something that you are kind of pushing off, pushing out of the way. And I feel that you are, you're knowing that this particular thing or these things are an issue. And it's sort of like this energy of I'll get to that later, right? And uh, really with the Wheel of Fortune here, now is the time. So as far as love goes, I'm having, I'm having it come through for me here that you, you're no longer sitting around and letting things sort of happen. I feel that you are moving forward, you are clearing this throat chakra and allowing these creative new ideas to flow through you in regards to love relationships, whether again this is romantic, friendships, familial relationships, and really having this these communications and this creative new way of showing up here. So I'm really getting that you are taking action here. Something that is also coming through with this reverse six of wands is maybe maybe you are not feeling that you are totally getting recognized for these efforts that you are putting in. So um, really being able to advocate for yourself and what it is that you need from relationships or, or different connections and partnerships. So um, what I have for you in the area of work and creative endeavors, Leo, is I have the sun card for you and this is your card. You are shining bright. You are moving forth. You are in this energy of playfulness. I feel like these new ideas are coming forth for you. You're feeling confident in what it is that you're doing and that is going to lead to this nine of pentacles is also in this same position. So as you can see here, there's there's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of contentment in this card. So I feel in this area of work and creative endeavors that you are truly on the right path. So just keep what you're keep doing what you're doing. See it through, stick it out. Uh, regardless of if there are bumps in the road, that is just a part of the creative process. So just being able to nourish yourself here so that you do not potentially fall into a place of burnout. So 
as far as the advice from your spirit guides here, really, really paying attention to how you can juggle all of this excitement and newness with these creative endeavors and, and maybe what's going on in this area of relationships and love and really being able to nourish yourself during this time of serious creativity, right? And so being able to create a stable foundation in your life through the act of balance, which is really going to lead you to this place that you want to go and, and what you see for your life. So just being able to really be cognizant of the changes that need to be made in your life, cognizant of things that have held you back in the past in when you've been in similar situations so maybe that looks like burnout maybe that looks like focusing a little too much on things outside of your creative endeavors so just really being able to reel that back in and create that balance so that is what i have for you leo sun moon rising and venus for april 2023 thank you